All right, so back here with 10.7, this is the third page. I'm just gonna do the top half because it's gonna take a little bit of time. I wanna break it up so it doesn't seem overwhelming. And then I'm gonna come back and do the bottom half and show you guys some other ways. So the first top part is easy. Okay, this is just time conversion. So all I gotta do is I have to look at my chart in order to get this, okay? So if I look at my chart, I'm going from minutes to hours. Hours are bigger, so I need fewer of them. I know I'm gonna divide. And if I look at my chart, I'm gonna go from minutes to hours. Right there, it says 160th, right? Which means that I'm gonna take 540 and divide that by 60. Okay, like before, like I said, I don't really wanna take these zeros off in case there's something left over because with minutes and seconds and things like that, things get a little weird. But what I would do is I would take a look at that six and that 54 as if there, as if I was taking the zero off. How many sixes can go into 54? It's nine. This one's actually gonna end up coming up evenly. So I'm gonna put a nine there. 60 won't go into 54, but it will go into 540. And to check my answer, all I'm gonna do is go 60 times nine, zero and 54, and I know that that works. That's nine hours, okay? Um, so just remember, you can, don't take them off, but leave, leave them on, but pretend like you did, just to get a reasonable estimate, so you don't mess things up, especially when the numbers get bigger, like a problem from the first page. Uh, if I wanna go from days to hours, hours are smaller than days, yep, and I just need to know how many there are. If they're smaller, I need more, I'm gonna multiply, right? How many hours in a day, everybody knows this. There's 24, which is military time, right? 24 hours in a day. So I'm gonna take 24. I'm gonna multiply that by eight. Eight times four, 32. Eight times two is 16 plus three, 19, good. So I get 192 hours, All right? So eight days is 192 hours from now. Okay, 110 hours to days and hours. And anytime I get a remainder, you know I'm doing division, right? I don't get remainders when I multiply. And it makes sense because days are bigger, so I need fewer, so I'm gonna divide. And there are how many hours in a day? 24, so if you look at your chart, it'll say one over 24, which means divide by 24. I'm gonna take 110, and I'm going to divide by 24. So, I gotta figure out how many 20, because 24 won't go into 11, so they're making this a little bit difficult for me, right? And it's big numbers, so this is that big division that I'm gonna have to do. I gotta decide how many 24s do I think are into 110. I, I like to look at the two and the 11 right here, and I'm like, well, that's about five times. And that kind of jives with what we always say, right? I should try five if I don't know where to start, and that'll kind of give me a good idea. So I'm gonna start with five and take it from there. So I'm gonna take 24 times five. What is five times four? Five, 10, 15, 20, right? So I put a zero here and a two there. And five times two, 10, right? Plus two, I get 12. So I get 120. So I know that five is too big. I cannot subtract 120 from 110. So, and it, but it's close. So what should we try? Yeah. So I'm gonna get 24 times four. Four times four is 16, yes. I'm gonna put that there and a one up there. It's also good about starting with five is like everything's so even. Um, but I digress, four times two, eight plus one, nine, I get 96. Okay, so I'm gonna put a four right here all the way at the end. Make sure you keep your place value straight, right? And then I'm gonna subtract 96 and see how many hours I have left. Zero minus six is of course six. Oh wait, that's right, I can't. More on the floor means I gotta go next door. I'm gonna borrow this one, turn that into a zero, and that's a 10. 10 minus six, four. Zero minus nine, can't do that, so I'm gonna borrow this one here. Whoops, I made it, put that there. 10 minus nine, 14. Or is one, 14 is my answer. All right, so I've got four days and 14 hours, okay? So the big thing here is this idea of guess and check, if you don't know, but you can make an educated guess by looking at the first number here and the first two digits there to about how many you should try, all right? 
So I'm gonna use the clock and then I'm gonna show it with military time and then we'll be done with this part. So it says starting time is 9.17 and my elapsed time is five hours and 18 minutes. So if I'm gonna use a clock, there's my hour hand is the short hand, right? On an analog clock and I'm gonna jump it five times. One, two, three, four, five. So it's, no, oh, five. So I know that it's gonna end up at two o'clock. And because I went past 12, it's gonna go from a.m. to p.m. And now I gotta find my minutes. It's, this is 17 right here. So I gotta add 18 to it. I'm gonna jump it 10 to start, which is two numbers. So that would be five, this would be 10. That's plus 10 minutes. So this is right here is 27. And then I've gotta go eight more minutes. So I'm gonna go 27, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna put that right there. That's plus eight minutes. And if I look at that, that's 35. So my time is gonna be 235, okay? All right, military time-wise, just bear with me really quickly. I'm gonna take 917, whoa, 917 which is my time, it's a.m., okay? And I'm gonna add to it five hours and 18 minutes. So follow with me here. Seven plus eight, 15. One plus one plus one is three, good. And I'm gonna put this here. Nine plus five is 14, okay. Anytime you get a number larger than 12, you subtract 12 to get the actual time. I mean, 14.35 is, is a time. Trust me, if you go in the military, that's the time. But I'm gonna subtract 12, and I get 35, of course, and then four minus two is two, and then one minus one is zero, I get 235. So I get the same answer, all right? Things get a little bit hairy later on. I'm just gonna show you, there's only two things you really need to remember. All right, next video.